if you want to learn the basics of chess, this is the video for you guys. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Chess Grandmaster and today we're covering five essential chess openings every beginner should know. Ready to get started? Let's dive in. But before it, all that I ask from you guys is to smash that like button, subscribe my channel for more chess content. So first on our openings chess list, the Rui Lopez. The opening starts with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, and then bishop b5. What's great about this opening is that it quickly creates pressure on black's knight. The goal here is to control the center and put immediate pressure on the opponent. Many grandmasters rely on this opening due its balance of aggression and defense. If black is not careful, white can follow up with rapid development and strong kingside attack. This is one of the oldest openings and remains one of the most effective. Next, we have the Italian game, which starts really similar to the Rui Lopez, but with the bishop coming to c4 instead of bishop b5. This is more aggressive option because white's bishop immediately targets the f7 square, one of the weakest points in black's camp. The Italian game is great for players who want to apply pressure early in the game. It gives white the option to castle quickly and starts building pressure along the center and the king side. It's also easy to learn so beginners can implement it with confidence. You know, in my world championship until age of 8, I played the Italian. For those of you looking for a more counter-attacking style, the Sicilian defense is a popular choice for black. It begins with e4, c5. Unlike the symmetrical e4, e5, the Sicilian challenges white center control by attacking from the side. There are many variations of the Sicilian defense, including the Dragon and Nidorf, each with, with its own aggressive strategies. Sicilians gives black the opportunity to play for a win right from the start, rather than just trying to equalize. If you prefer playing aggressively with black, this is an opening you should learn. Now let's explore the Queen's Gambit, an opening that has recently gained even more attention thanks to the Queen's Gambit series. White played the move d4, d5, and then c4, offering a pawn. But don't worry, the Gambit is not about giving up material, it's about gaining control of the center. If black accept the gambit, white can quickly develop pieces and maintain strong central control. The queen's gambit is a favorite among top players because it leads to a rich strategic positions. Even if black declines the gambit, white can still develop rapidly and create an advantage. Finally, the London system. A solid and flexible choice that becoming increasingly popular, especially for beginners. It starts with d4, followed by an early bishop f4. The beauty of London system is its sim simplicity and the fact that white can build a strong pawn structure while maintaining flexibility. Unlike some other openings, the London system can be played against almost any defense by black. White looks to develop harmoniously, you know, like with all the pieces, with pawn supporting key squares, it's great for players who want a re reliable, consistent opening that doesn't require learning so much theory, like Sicilian, French, I don't know, Rui Lopez, Italian, you know, Karo Khan. So, you know, those are five chess openings to boost your game. If you find this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe. Thanks for watching and good luck on your chess journey. See you soon. Bye bye.